It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. If there is enough supply of COVID-19 vaccines, the Iloilo City and provincial government are willing to offer booster shots to people in Western Visayas. This is following the Food and Drug Administration's approval of a shorter waiting time in receiving the booster shots. Fully vaccinated individuals are now able to avail of the booster shot three months after their last dose. Mayor Jerry Pitrañas urged everyone to receive the added protection when available, especially with the looming Omicron variant of COVID-19 affecting the United States and Europe. The provincial government of Iloilo is also willing to make the COVID booster shots available if supplies allow. However, Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. said he would not rush using the available vaccines as booster shots if supplies are too strained. Instead, the provincial government will prioritize giving the vaccine to those who are yet to receive even their first dose. Christmas celebrations across Western Visayas were generally peaceful, according to the Police Regional Office 6. PRO 6 spokesperson Police Lieutenant Colonel Arnel Soli said there were no recorded incidents directly related to the nine-day Simbanga B. There were also no cases of stray bullets or illegal discharge of firearms, although there was one firecracker incident. PRO 6 data showed that, from December 16 to 24, only 472 crimes were reported, 16.9% lower compared to the 568 incidents in the same period last year. Sony cited the maximum deployment of police personnel in the field and their efforts in ensuring peace and order during the holidays. Force multipliers were also tapped to make sure the public followed health protocols. The provincial government of Negros Occidental has allocated 50 million pesos for the rehabilitation of houses destroyed by Super Typhoon Odette. The budget came with the approval of the Sangkuniang Panalawigan to place the province under a state of calamity. Provincial Administrator Attorney Rifando Diaz said the budget will be distributed to the towns and cities that were directly impacted by the Super Typhoon. Diaz clarified the aid will not be in the form of cash assistance. Instead, the local government will purchase construction materials. Areas in Southern Negros, particularly in the 6th district, were some of the hardest hit with strong winds, heavy rains, and widespread flooding. And those were tonight's latest headlines. And mga kapian, five days to go until 2022. This is your anchor, Elijah Lusaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Banai News on Press Reader. Read Banai News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.